What's up developers, it's Dari here and I hope that you're having a great day since we're going to take it a step further by creating our first Tailwind application. Before we continue on, I want to quickly let you know that you can support the channel through Patreon where you can get access to my private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out with their coding issues. If you are interested to join, the link is in the description down below. There are multiple ways how we could set up our Tailwind project, but I will install it as a post CSS since it's one of the most common ways in real life applications. For this series, I decided to go with Visual Studio Code since it's free and very easy to use. I won't create a tutorial on how to set it up since it's just one extension that you need, which is Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Since this course is mainly focused on designing, we won't be needing the command line interface that much, so I want to use the integrated CLI in Visual Studio Code instead of my external terminal. This will save me a lot of time because I don't need to switch between screens. So first things first, let's open our code editor. Let's remove the welcome screen. Uh, let me actually zoom in. Inside the top menu of our Visual Studio code, there's a menu item right here called terminal. And I think it's the same for every operating system. Let's click on it. And in the dropdown, let's click on new terminal, which will open an integrated terminal. Before we write down a command, we need to set up a new project folder since it won't be done automatically for us. So. What we could do is to write down cd to my desktop. In my desktop, I can write down ls. And as you can see, I have one folder right here. I can even show it to you. Right here, I have one folder called workspace. Let's cd into our workspace because in here, I pretty much store any type of project that I got, whether it's a Python project, Laravel project, or a basic HTML and CSS project. I prefer to use this way since it is pretty annoying to search for projects on my laptop. You are not obligated to do the same exact thing. Your Tailwind project will run from anywhere. Inside our workspace, we need to create a new directory. So let's write down mkdir for make a new directory called personal underscore portfolio. Hit enter. If we write down ls right now, you can see that we have a new project here called personal underscore portfolio. So let's cd into personal portfolio. Let me make it full screen. All right. Like I said, we're going to use npm to install Tailwind. So we obviously need to make sure that we got npm running. If you're not entirely sure if you got npm installed, you can run npm v. This will return either an npm version. And as you could see for me, 7.14, or you will get an error message which says that you don't have npm running. Don't worry, since it's very easy to install npm on your local machine. Now before I continue on, you need to make sure that you have Node.js installed on your local machine. And it's very easy to do that. I've already opened it in the browser. You need to go to node.js.org, download the latest version on your PC, pause the video, and I'll see you back in Visual Studio Code if you got it installed. Now that you probably just installed Node.js, you can run npm-v again in the terminal, to see your version and based on that, you can see if you got Node running or not. Now that we got it running, it's time to install npm. Inside the terminal, you basically need to run npm install. And I've already got it installed, but this is basically installing npm. If you're not running on npm 7.14, it really doesn't matter. But if you do want to update it, you basically need to write down npm install dash g space npm, and this will upgrade your npm version. Whenever you have done that, you can write down npm-v again to check the version. And once again, it's still 7.14. Right now, we are ready to pull in our Tailwind packages. But before I do that, I want to open my project to the side right here. So let's open the Explorer and let's open a folder. Go to my desktop, workspace, and my personal portfolio folder. And let's close off welcome again. And apparently we need to open the terminal again. Let's go to the CLI because we need to perform a new npm command. Let's write down npm install space dash d. Then we need to define what we would like to pull in. And in our case, it's tailwind CSS. Let's also add a at sign to it because we're going to tell npm that we want to install the latest version. So let's add a at latest. In the previous video, I've told you that I prefer to pull in Tailwind as a post CSS plugin. So what we need to do is to add a space, write down post CSS, 
And once again, we're going to add the latest version. We need to add one more thing before we can run this command. Tailwind CSS does not automatically add vendor prefixes to the CSS. Tailwind itself recommends you to install auto prefixes. So let's do that. Let's add a space. Let's say auto prefixer. And once again, we want to install the latest version. Now let's run this command to see what the output is. This might take a second. NPM returned a message where it says that NPM info is okay. Let me close up my Git repo. All right. If we take a look at the left side of our VS Code, and inside our personal portfolio folder, where our project folder is located, you can see that one new folder called node underscore modules and two files called package-lock and package.json have been added. The node modules folder is a package manager for node.js. We won't be doing much with it, but it is needed to have. And I'll let you know in a bit why. Inside the package.json file, you can find the dependencies and the associated versions that we pulled in. Our auto prefix is, is on 10.2.5, post CSS is on 8.3, and our tailwind CSS is on 2.1.2. The next step is to create our configuration file, which can be done through the CLI as well. So let's go there. Let's write down mpx tailwind CSS in it. This is not necessary to do right now, but we will need it later on. So let's do it right now. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, a tailwind.convic.js file has been created for us. Now the next step is to create our CSS file because we need to pull in tailwind directives. So inside the root of our project, let's create a new file called style.css. And inside the style.css file, we need to add tailwind directives that will be replaced with tailwind code. And in order to do that, we need to say add tailwind space base, and we need to close it off with a semicolon. We need to do it two more times. So on the line below, let's say add tailwind, and the second name is components. And the last one is the add tailwind again, and the file name is called utilities. You might wonder where these three files are coming from, the base, components, and utilities. And let me show that to you. The add tailwind will look inside the node underscore modules folder. Let's open it. It will search for a folder called tailwind. So let's scroll down to the T right here. Let's open it. And in here, you can see a base.css file, our utilities.css file, and our components.css file. The next step is to reprocess these files inside a new file. And this can be done in multiple ways, but the way I prefer is to create a script inside our package.json, which allows us to pretty much create a new command that we then can run inside the CLI. Let's make our node module smaller again. Let's open the package.json file. And right below our closing curly brace of our dependency, we need to add a semicolon. On the line below, we're going to create something which is called, in double quotes, called scripts. After a double quote, we need to add a colon and we need to add a set of curly braces. We need to pass a name and value. So let's call the name in single quotes, build-css. Now the value, so colon, is tailwind css, space, build, space, what we want to build. So the style.css file that we got. Then we need to add a dash all flag, since we're going to specify the output file. And in my case, we want to store it inside a new folder called CSS forward slash style.css. And I forgot to add a space here. All right, this looks better. Let's save it. And then inside the terminal, we need to run the script that we just created. So let's say npm run build-css. The build-css that we're performing right here refers to the script that we got right here. So let's run it. It's building right now. And that was actually pretty fast. It has been done. So as you can see, a new folder called CSS has been created. Let's open it with a file called style.css. All right, you can see that we have a lot of styling right here. And to make sure that it is Tailwind, let's press Command or Control F and let's search for Tailwind. And as you can see, the Tailwind custom reset styles have been added. 
This was it for this video. In the next video, we're going to focus on fonts, colors, and alignment with Tailwind. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.